In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to edit ranges within an audio clip using the Wave Editor. I have on the screen a video with an accompanying audio track, and the audio track has several different styles about it when it begins. Listen to this first part. Now what happens when we get to this other part in the audio waveform is it changes. And then we have a third change at the beginning of this audio track and it goes to this sound. Now let's assume that what I want to do is I like part of this, but I don't want to use the whole thing. And maybe I even want to take a segment, a range, and cut it out and repeat it. That's what we're going to attempt to do in this tutorial. And to do this, we'll use the Wave Editor. So I'm going to click on the audio track and I can click on Edit Audio and I'm going to choose the Wave Editor option. And this will load the Wave Editor in my copy of CyberLink PowerDirector. Now, one of the things I love about the Wave Editor, it's very easy to see the waveforms and it's very easy to get precise. So let's assume, now you can click anywhere in the gray area and go ahead and play. So this is the part here where I want to change things. So we're gonna cut out starting near here to about here. So what I'm gonna do is click on the plus magnifying glass to zoom in. And we'll move to the very first part of this and see about it where we want to start. Okay, anywhere here would be good. I'm gonna get as close as I can. I'm gonna click about. Oh, let's see. I, I haven't figured out a way to move this with a keyboard yet, but this is pretty precise. I could magnify it even more if I wanted. So we're going to start there. And then I'm going to go back a little bit in my zoom, unzoom a bit. And I'll drag the other part over to near the end of it, where the sound begins to change. And then we're going to magnify it back again, zoom in again. Maybe one more level here. And I'm going to see a pretty good break right about here. So we'll go about to that moment here. Now, when I have, I'm working with a range like this, we'll back it up so you can see the segment of the entire clip. I can cut it, which will simply remove it and fill the gap. I can copy it. I can delete it. And then I can crop it. Now, crop it means only the part that's selected will be left on the screen. Everything else is thrown out. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and click on crop. And so now I have just this segment here. I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to move to the very beginning. And then I'm going to click on paste. I'm going to move the playhead again to the beginning and click paste. Move to the two halves together and click paste. And again. Okay, and now I can I can do this as many times as I want. And now let's see what we have here. We're going to start at the beginning of this. And let's play. The, the original break should come right about here. Okay, our copy was great. We don't have any apparent gaps here. If we did, we could zoom in. And uh, if there was a slight gap between them, we could uh, select an area like this. And then we could simply cut and that would pull it together if we had too big of a gap. But the uh, it looks pretty good at this point in time. So I'm going to click on the X at the top. 
Now this will not change the original. It will make a second copy and I will save the changes here. And so now I'm back to my regular screen. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. The effect is really good because now I have just the subset of that original audio clip that I want to use throughout my entire presentation. So using ranges in Wave Editor inside PowerDirector is a pretty efficient way to modify the audio track to suit your needs.